Hey, collective. Okay, guys, getting ready to start your reading. Oh. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's the Grim Reaper. This will be a collective reading. It will be general, of course. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. We have boat receiving what you need. Progression arriving. This could be moving on or having some kind of uh, closure issues as well. I'm singing, you can leave your hat on. I don't even know the words to that, but I just started singing it just now. Uh, making healthy choices in love and in life, self love, self care, and being happier. This is great. Okay. So this may be with a real, this may have to do with some of you guys that might be getting out of a situation or, or maybe putting, uh, trying to find closure after uh, a relationship. Yeah, it could have been something that actually started um, with some kind of, okay, so there could have definitely been some kind of third-party interference in the relationship, but regardless, I mean, it could have been something that started very flirty, very seductive, really. What if, like, this is another person? Let's see what where this takes us, actually. I'll definitely be clarifying these because I'm feeling like this may be somebody that's actually leaving a situation as well, or it could be you, yeah, yeah, because somebody is nostalgic here. See, somebody may be actually missing you and looking over some photos here, okay? This this is obviously a person in the past here. I think this is somebody who you've been with that's now put an end to another relationship here. I, you know what? Grow and transform your life, though, does stick out to me the most here. You may feel like there's no second chances in a situation here, but somebody else may be finally wrapping up another situation uh, and not wanting to give that situation another chance. This could be... Honestly, I'm feeling very much so a boomerang effect. So I'm thinking that maybe somebody was going back and forth perhaps with someone before. This could be you too. So take it as it resonates here. Yeah, they, there may have been. But somebody's moving on. That's what I'm getting here. They're trying to make some kind of healthy choices here. Okay. They want to be happier with their life is what I'm getting. Um so I do like it that they're putting a lot of, they're involving themselves in a lot of self-care and a lot of self-love. And if this is you, obviously great job, you know, um, you definitely focus. The focus here is on being happier, but whoever this is that I'm speaking of here, it looks like they have been, um, pretty weak, honestly, when it comes to interferences in the past here. So this could have been someone who was a bit non-committal here. Um, and maybe that worked for them at one point. Maybe they liked that. Maybe they were weak to stuff like that. But it seems to me like they're tired, perhaps, of this behavior now. Okay, this is money. Definitely, again, looking uh, over your photos here, wanting to make new memories with you, feeling very uh, nostalgic here. This is a person that wears the mask or definitely did in the past. If you, if that's how you know them, they could have, you know, honestly gaslit you. Um Definitely hit their feelings is what I'm getting. Hit their true feelings here with the mask card. Let me get one more. Yeah, sunglasses. This is a person that's watching you, keeping an eye on you, trying to see what you're doing. You know, it's funny because that song is Leave Your Hat On. And the first time, the first couple of times when I was shuffling, coming into the reading, um, I, was singing, I was singing Leave the Light On. <laughs> leave your light on I don't know why so maybe this is why maybe you shut the light or turn the light off on somebody here they can't see you they can't perceive you uh, in some way maybe you've got them blocked out of something as well this says that somebody is definitely looking in they're trying to look in in whatever way they can maybe they're watching readings um, maybe they're speaking to people that you know if they're around you you know maybe they're trying to, to see some way they could be fake accounts too I mean there's definitely ways here to look in so let's go ahead and jump into the tarot because i want to see uh, what is going on with this specific situation for you guys all right first of all let me just see actually I'm, i do want to check the players let me see if i can find those cards real quick yeah I do it right behind me all right let's see who the players are in this situation sorry i'm turned away from the camera here also, I have my volume on high. Hopefully, it's high enough here. If not, I'll have to plug in my uh, mic tomorrow. Okay, so somebody here could be an artist. That could be you. That could be another person. These are going to be the people that could be involved in this reading this evening. doesn't have to be some form of artist, not just with painting. Obviously, they could be, you know, they could make videos. They could, um, I don't know, they could do anything. They could dance. They could be a performer. Wallflower. Okay. 
somebody here could be kind of a homebody or just someone that sits and watches, honestly. Someone who sits back, watches, doesn't really get involved a lot. It could be someone who's actually shy or just someone who enjoys people watching or even observing here, doesn't like to get involved too much here. Oh, we have a gypsy soul, but that actually came out in reverse. How interesting. Okay. So this is interesting to me because that reads to me of someone who is... I don't know, I almost get a weird vibe with it. Like someone who puts themselves out there like they are, they love their freedom. They love to kind of run wild, but secretly, um, not just run wild, you know, just get out there, even possibly live off the earth, anything like that. But just be a free spirit is what I'm getting the very most with this. But for some reason, this I, I'm going to tell you what I get. This is crazy. I almost feel like someone who maybe put themselves out there as a bit of a gypsy, but I, I don't know why I'm getting something around mystical stuff as well. So maybe as that, so maybe this is somebody who does, I, okay, I'm just going to put it out there. They could be doing readings or they could be doing, um, yeah, they could be doing readings. They could be doing, you know, mediumship or something like that. This is somebody I feel it's, why do I feel like this is a fraud? I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I do. I feel like it's kind of someone who feels like, um, or someone who pretends to be something that they're not. That's what I'm getting here. So maybe you were involved with someone like that, or maybe you know someone like that, obviously, that is involved in this situation. Someone who acts like they're, you know, highly spiritual and living, maybe on the up and up in some way, or trying to, or living in, you know, in their highest energy, and they're just not. I feel someone actually abusing their gifts and, and not just their gifts. I feel spiritual abuse around this in some way. This is really freaking weird. Okay, let's keep going. I did not see that coming at, at all. We're dealing with a Libra here. All right, but maybe someone is trying to feel like them leaving and, and making some healthy choices here, especially if they were with a person like this. Perhaps they're feeling like that is their justice, right? They're actually getting justice. Maybe they're trying to balance the scales again in their own life. Maybe they wish to balance the scales with someone else here. Yeah. Somebody's definitely doing, looking into another person is what I'm getting. Okay, we have a detective here. So someone may actually, you know, I just, this is, okay. Don't let me go down this rabbit hole too deeply because honestly, I'm getting such strong hits on this. I talked about someone abusing their gifts and maybe spiritual abuse, which could be energetic abuse, anything like that. Definitely not living in their highest vibration, okay? A um, lot, a of, lot of shadow energy with this I'm feeling today. This could also be someone who's trying to look and see if their work perhaps is working, okay? Uh, also checking in on, on this person, checking in perhaps on you as well. Definitely feeling a, an outside vibe here. It could be a mother, all right, it could be someone's mother here. It could be a mother energy, maybe a baby baby mama, I guess, or the mother of someone's children. Um, yeah, could definitely be something like that. There could also be an Aries in the picture. Hmm. We got someone in here as well that is a loner here. That's funny because that actually says wanted, dead, or alive. This card says detective here. I feel like someone has left a situation. It could be this loner, this wallflower, okay? But obviously what I'm seeing here is wanted, dead, or alive. Almost like someone is looking for another person here, all right? This person could be a Don Juan, okay? They could definitely be someone who we already saw that was seduction. You sucked seduction to get what they wanted. Um, dresses well, looks well, you know, looks good um smells good but you know they just they seduce people to get what they want basically i'm gonna get a couple more of these then we have an air sign here okay so that could be libra aquarius or gemini we've seen libra and that's libra again basically yeah, then we have a mystic actually in the upright here. Honestly, so you could be very mystical as well. You could be a mystic. Uh, you could be, this one actually has a um, crystal ball actually in her hand, okay? But also she's dressed in 
And she looks like she could be out there casting as well. <laughs> this one's actually in the upright. I don't really have an issue with that. This is someone that's quite mystical is what I'm feeling here. And then we have a beauty. All right. So definitely whoever that applies to. So someone who focuses a lot, obviously, on their beauty, on their looks. Um, you know, which is not a problem, most definitely. Or other people definitely find beautiful here. And then we have famous. So somebody could definitely be in the spotlight as well. Okay. Or someone who gets a lot of attention. Someone who's well known, obviously has some notoriety. All right. Now let's get some tarot and see what is going on in this crazy, crazy store. Tell me what is going on. Who is this person? Or who is this about anyway where it says relationship is over? Relationship is over. Somebody has discovered something is what I'm feeling here. They could have been talking to a mystic actually. Yeah. What relationship is over? Well, the first card out, of course, is the Nine of Wands here. Okay. So it could be with the fire sign here. Be a Sagittarius, uh, Aries, or Leo. That could be you, or that could be someone actually ending a relationship. Yeah. Somebody who had to make a choice here. So it could have been someone actually that you dealt with before. Again, this could have been you. Obviously, if you knew that you were in a third party, you could have certainly left that. And you're saying no second chances here. Yeah, but look, wait, somebody is clearly moving away from a relationship. That's what I'm getting here. It could have been someone who they had to make a choice about here. Okay, um, or you had to make a choice about here, but I don't think you're the, unless you're the king of wands, that wouldn't make any sense to me. So this could be a person, like I said before, very driven by seduction, driven by passion. Okay, um, maybe they were dealing with somebody else and they're trying to get away is what I'm looking at here. We have a transition here. We have Aquarius, Gemini, as well as uh, Sagittarius. And then we have some Cancer energy. All right, so they could have been with a Queen of Cups here, or maybe they are moving away from something to come towards a Queen of Cups here, Cancer Energy. I think this person now is being driven more by, it looks to me like feelings and not just passion, okay? So definitely in the, in the past, they could have been driven by a lot of passion here. They might have had a choice that they needed to make here about a partnership, um, about some kind of romance here. Yeah, look at this. Okay, this person, okay, this looks to me like somebody is definitely moving towards what they feel is going to bring them some kind of wish fulfillment. This is also a part of marriage. They may be looking for uh, marriage here as well. Whatever was happening here could have been some kind of flame. Somebody here, I feel like somebody here is very heavily artistic. I don't know why I keep going back to that. Very creative person, maybe creating a lot of things in their life. Could be creating businesses or just being very creative. Yeah, look at this. I think somebody has really thought long and hard of, about this as well. Okay, maybe somebody here has had a period of rest. And maybe your situation with another person has had a period of rest as well. Okay, maybe you guys have not been speaking or talking for a long time. I feel like somebody here has definitely been in mental overload. Mm -mm -mm. yeah whoever this is they're definitely a warrior okay they're a fighter i do feel like somebody here too and for some reason i feel like something is not like it's over but the full battle is not over is what i'm getting someone feels very fatigued here very battle weary here with this nine of wands you know they may have taken a little bit of time to be honest with you to kind of rest to relax to try and rejuvenate here to gain some perspective here in the four of swords here but yeah look they're ready for fast movement here fast action and absolutely moving forward i think you're going to get maybe a lot of communication here perhaps some progress um this feels very fast to me okay very fast so i don't know if you're going to get a lot of communication or maybe someone just showing up it just feels to me like there's going to be a lot of talk a lot of communication going back and forth oh and one flip over oh look at that and then we have the king of pentacles okay so you could be dealing with the taurus here i also have two cards of sag i have uh, libra as well and i have some pisces 
So you could be dealing, this could be a king of pentacles that actually wants to have this. Or maybe they're coming to me. Maybe you're the king of pentacles and they're coming towards you, okay? But somebody here is definitely, it looks to me like somebody is taking action. And it, it could either be towards or this could be somebody that is very mature, certainly grounded, okay? Could be successful, wealthy. Um, someone who has a good handle on things is what I'm feeling here. The King of Pentacles, also a very ge uh, generous person, okay? Genuinely cares about usually... Um, other people and the welfare of other people, very similar to the Queen of Pentacles in that respect. Maybe this person has been working a lot on themselves. Maybe that's what that timeout has been about here. Yeah, this person could be, they could have been waiting for their ships to come in here. All right. I also see this person just kind of looking out here. They are looking out but they're not looking back. That's the good news. You notice they're not looking backwards, okay? So they definitely have some foresight here in terms of what it is that they're wanting is what I'm feeling here. There may be some kind of move here that has to take place, some kind of travel. Um, they could be traveling, I guess, to see you as well. Overall, I think this person's just looking at, it just looks to me like they're looking at the long term in something, okay? They want to, I think they're really thinking a lot about this. That's what I get. Yeah, and, and honestly, what I'm getting here is they want to move towards someone who they feel like is really intuitive. Maybe this is this mystic doesn't have to be, though. I think somebody, there's a con game going on here. That's what I'm kind of getting here. Maybe this person thought that they were with someone that was, they could have even been similar to you, or maybe they thought that in the past year, okay? Definitely someone who they thought they could be a good couple with, perhaps, here. But I think they found out that someone was playing from a very dark I feel it's a very dark place. I don't know why I keep going there, but I do. I feel like I'm like a fraud in essence, okay? Or someone who actually abuses. Um, I don't know. I keep wanting to say spiritual abuse. I don't even know. Is that a, is there a definition behind that? I mean, I feel like it's just something to do with like they're not, they're not who they say they are. But honestly, if we're being honest, a lot of people aren't who they say they are, right? So it's not just that. It's almost like using the knowledge that they have, but for the bad, if that makes sense. That's what I get. Oh my God. This person must have disappeared on someone else, or maybe this person, someone else is feeling like this person is disappearing completely. It says no, no going backwards. So that makes me feel that maybe this person was going back. Oh yeah, I got the boomerang effect earlier too, which tells me somebody usually goes back and forth, but that's not happening. All right, so tell me more spirit. So I want to know who is the person I want to know who this detective is. Clarify this detective, please. Detective. Hmm. Somebody not liking what they're getting at this time. Okay. There's definitely some somebody that's in regret. Um, feeling like they may have missed an opportunity here. Somebody feeling very disillusioned by something. Can we clarify this detective, please? Yeah. Yeah, this is somebody that's definitely very conflicted at this point. They may view you as competition, okay? There might have been a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, arguments here, a lot of disagreements, definitely a lot of struggle here, okay? Look at this. This is someone who's working very hard, though, is what I'm feeling here. Working very hard on what? Okay, trying to gain some kind of clarity. Trying to put together a plan is what I just heard. That's really crazy. Okay, so maybe trying to put together some kind of plan here. Uh, maybe they're trying to figure out how some, to get someone to communicate with them. Are you on a platform? That's what I kind of feel. I don't know if you're on a platform. I feel like someone's trying to get you to communicate with them. Or maybe they're watching you to see if you can... I don't know. You don't know this person, I'm sure. So why would you communicate with them unless it's your person? Okay. Someone wants to see if you are... Maybe if you're going to talk about it. That's what I just heard. Talk about what? Okay, this whole story is crazy. All right, hang on one second. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this person's trying to get, yeah, they're trying to put together some kind of plan because they're trying to avoid a death here. Okay, a complete death. So I think this is a person. All right, I don't know who this is, but somebody could have went back and forth quite a bit. Okay, and because they did that, I think that maybe someone thought I can do whatever and it's just going to be okay. But I think somebody finally made a decision to just walk away from a situation Somebody's made a transition here, okay? I think they're moving towards somebody, again, that's highly intuitive, very caring, very nurturing, uh, very sincere feelings is what I'm getting here. 
maybe this, they see this person as um, with a lot of empathy, you know, like this person has a lot of empathy for other people. It could be a counselor even or has a good counselor or comes across. I feel like, you know, maybe people come to them for that, for advice, for wisdom. Hang on one second, one of my cards flipped. Yeah, look at this. All right, let me get one more. Yeah, so here's the situation. So somebody is definitely working really hard, okay? They're trying to come up with some kind of ideas here. You know, I think that they're trying to... I just feel like this. they're not happy about the way a situation ended, so a way, the way something went down, um, feeling very conflicted. But not only that, I feel like they, they know that there was a lot of conflict, a lot of struggles. It's almost like that was accepted. It's like when you're in a toxic relationship, you're like, yeah, but that's just us. I mean, it doesn't make it healthy, though. I think somebody just finally got tired of it. There could have been some lies here in this situation as well as the lack of clarity is what I'm getting. Um, and they're really trying to prevent someone from totally letting go is what I'm getting. All right. Completely letting go here. Now, if this is your person as well, then they're walking away, trying to bring, bring clarity before maybe you completely let go. Cause we saw up at the top, that that's definitely an option, right? Um, this could be obviously be hidden from you. This could be coming out of nowhere here. Um, I mean, that would be right in alignment. High Priestess, obviously, with the mystic as well. Maybe they're seeing you this way. Maybe they know that you, maybe they feel, I don't, where's this help button coming again? I feel like I had that last night. I don't know what's going on. Like somebody needs your help. They feel like you're full of wisdom, full of insight is what I'm getting here. A lot of spiritual insight here. Um, definitely a lot of emotional stability. Yeah, look at this. You can't make it up. Look at this. We got the eight, and they know that somebody here is moving on. That's what I'm telling you. So somebody's trying to prevent that from happening. Somebody is trying to prevent. It looks like somebody has finally left a situation that had a lot of conflict in it. That's what I'm getting the most, okay? They weren't happy in this situation. Maybe they've been sitting there a long time, like I said, in regret, in some kind of stagnation, um, feeling disillusioned by whatever, whatever was going on. I'm going to go back to this gypsy soul. I don't know why in reverse here and what I kept getting. Um, was somebody doing something to keep them in a disillusioned state? Or were they just in it? I don't really know. You'll know your person. But the bottom line is we have... Um, someone here that is clearly walking away and I feel it's someone that's sitting in this high priestess energy and that's what this person is wanting to kind of prevent. I think they feel like they have to bring um, some kind of clarity, but also some kind of truth. Okay, forward here. This person seems to me like they're quite intense, to be honest with you. you have another card here is speaking the truth and taking action to do so. Okay. Um, this person can come across a very, um, very routine, very structured in a sense. They may be in a position of authority as well. Maybe that's just the way they're used to communicating, uh, a bit of a t detached communication. Um, but they do want to speak some kind of truth, okay? I, d I can appreciate somebody who's just straight up, just lays it out for me, okay? And I think that that's kind of the way that they're coming in as well. But why... So what is the goal here? What is this person trying to achieve here, Spirit, from my collective? Yeah, they want to have a passionate new start. And that's what they're trying to achieve. They're ready to put down these burdens, I feel like, that are between the two of you guys. They definitely feel like there's a sense of urgency here. Okay, definitely here. Maybe you're inspiring them to action in some way, whether you recognize it or not. Maybe they're just inspired to finally take action here. Yeah, look at this. This person has definitely made a choice. Okay, maybe they feel like you've achieved a high degree of balance here. Um, and they want to be more flexible too. See, that goes back to this King of Swords. I don't know why I was feeling that way. Like this person's very routine. I almost wanted to say rigid. They can be a bit rigid as well, especially when it comes to any kind of changes. I don't think they're quite comfortable with that. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So they might be very traditional, but I think they may also feel like you. This has some kind of higher constitution to it, if that makes sense, or the, a higher meaning to it. Um, yeah, like you got, maybe they're seeing or feeling like you guys are supposed to be together in some way and perhaps committed in some way. Okay, maybe this person now wants to settle down as well. Yeah, but it's something, it's more than that. 
okay i feel like they feel there's some higher meaning to this connection okay you may have told them that honestly but maybe they, they're just now coming around to that as well yeah look at this yeah you have the chariot right here and then you have the seven of cups here's the deal i mean here this person is definitely looking for some kind of victory here okay i think they're going to be very determined um, ready to travel to you, ready to come and swoop you up. It's definitely what I'm getting here. Um, you know, maybe you're feeling here. Maybe this person's feeling here like there is some kind of, I, I think somebody here, first of all, you could be dreaming about this person. They could be dreaming about you and that might actually speed up is what I'm feeling here. You may be getting more of that, more conversations even in the dream or what, what appears to be the dream. It could also be 5D communication, big emphasis on that as well. Um, but I think there's a lot of fantasy going on when it comes to this situation and even how to go about it. But chariot is a card of movement. Okay. It may be a physical move. Okay. Maybe somebody has to physically move to be with the other person. All right. But it is showing me just determination, a lot of self-discipline to be able to do that. Honestly, like I want to bring this into reality. Okay. Just get it out of my head and actually bring it into reality. I told you, I felt like they thought a lot about this situation before whenever I saw the four of swords. All right. It may have very much so stressed them out. I feel like they've been stressed out for a long time. Anyway, look at this. Yeah. They want to have a brand new start. Okay. You could be the empress, but if not, I mean, they may just see you as someone who's very sensual, someone who's nurturing, someone who's very creative. All right, but they know that this can be something that's harmonious, and I think that they want to start something new, burst something new into being with you. That's what I'm getting. Wow, okay. All right, so let's look at, I think I'll grab Amira's and just see who else is, what else is, is involved in this, because I'm feeling that there might be some energy. I want to say something's not quite wrapped up, or maybe some loose ends is what I want to say now. By all intents and purposes, this person could be completely out of it, but I feel like someone else is maybe not fully out of it. I also just heard somebody's getting, okay, so somebody might also be uh, catching karma right now as well, and that could be for interference, or it could just be for just their own actions, whatever was happening here, yeah. Could have been an ice queen, okay, this could have been... Um, could have been someone I feel like in this particular case that was very sharp with their words, very cutting. Okay, someone who would obviously an ice queen. I always think of it. I usually think of an air sign, obviously in reverse, the queen of um, swords in reverse. So I'm going to say somebody that not only may have been very, um, yeah, just cutting. I think with their own words, with the way that they express themselves, maybe always try to put put this person down, maybe even other people down around them. I mean, we can. The sad part is, I mean, we know where that comes from, right? But I don't have time to get into all that. You guys already know. But I'm just going to say this person was not a nice person, okay? And I think that uh, maybe, I think that was a big part of it. Honestly, I think that that created a lot of problems here because when you're constantly bashing somebody, of course, that's going to be an issue. I'm also getting with this ice queen that they're not really... I think it's also difficult for them to really open up. Maybe they use people for certain things. You know what I'm saying? What can you give me? What can you bring into my life? That sort of thing. And if not, if you're not giving me enough and you're worthless, I mean, I really feel some very cutting energy here. Not nice. Oh, look. <laughs> and then we have the Ice King, though. Okay, so your person could have been the very same here as well. Okay, maybe this turned into a very icy situation. Uh, between two people here this person could have been i don't know if this came from something around work here um this person could also have a very detached view of things maybe they also were caught up in that as well definitely some toxicity um i fell around the relationship because i see that somebody had to heal but i also see that there was a lot of conflict fighting a lot of arguments a lot of disagree uh, agreements a lot of struggles right even aggression tempers flaring constantly with two people yeah, but we have someone now, I feel like, that wants to come in and court another person. This man could wear some kind of uniform here. doesn't have to be. Someone wants to court someone else here, and I think they're breaking away or have broken away from another situation in order to do so. Yeah, because they feel like it's destiny. Definitely saw that up here as well. Okay, 
right here with the hair of font. I think they definitely feel like this is a destined connection. They were supposed to be here. Maybe they felt like they made the wrong choice here too. Okay, were they juggling here in the past? Could they not make some kind of decision here? Um, I also feel like this person may have had some other things going on. Maybe they didn't want to either burden you with or didn't want to. I don't even, honestly, I just don't feel like they would have been comfortable talking about it. It was something maybe personal or maybe just the whole idea that they could have been with, you know, between you and someone else here. We do have a mature woman here in the mix here. This could be someone who's very warm, very friendly, someone who, um, it says here socialite actually on the card, but I really feel like this is someone who connects other people in some way or is connected to other people in some way. Okay. They could have a, a job, a CEO. Um, you know, they could be a business owner or something like that. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but yeah, something that I think this person might be quite attracted to because I feel like a lot of people look to them, but yeah, look, there's gossip, a lot of gossip going on. We got that in last night's reading as well with the gossip. Okay. So there could be a lot of gossip around this situation. I feel like this is like, I don't remember the first part of last night. I just remember about a person coming in, but I, I obviously remember someone wanting to meet up in secret here. Okay, I'm not getting that tonight so much, but I'm kind of getting kind of a backstory here a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like there may be some gossip around this situation for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because the courty man is coming in and perhaps dealing with a mature woman or maybe the mature woman is coming in. I don't, the man has to court though, right? That's what it says. <laughs> So I don't know how this is going to play out here, but I do know that two people certainly think that this is some kind of destiny. So if this is you, maybe you also feel like this is some kind of destined connection here. Um, there may be a lot of gossip is what I'm getting here around this situation. I Honestly, this person here is so vindictive, this ice queen up here. Um, I can see that that might be some of the fallout that I kept feeling a minute ago. I remember she uses her abilities and and she may even have a gift to gab she could very well be a good communicator okay um but to kind of distort things interesting and normally when i see breakups i never assume there's an enemy okay because you know there's always three sides to a story right mine yours and and the truth <laughs> you know that's due to our own perception of things but for the for this one in particular, I feel like there was definitely um, some really, really problematic behavior going on. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, so this could have been somebody who you was with before, actually in some kind of short term uh, thing. It might have been a quick fling, honestly. It could have been all about the timing. Uh, I see it, it looks like a key there. Honestly, I think it's a clock, but it actually looks like a key to me. And then I see a heart that's broken. So somebody here could be feeling heartbroken or maybe someone walked away from this situation feeling quite heartbroken. Yeah, but somebody now is wanting union. Okay, definitely wanted some kind of union here. Okay, and I think that came out last night as well. So I feel like this may be kind of a continuation. This looks to me like it could very well be a part of the same dynamic as uh, yesterday. Definitely, I believe we saw gossip as well, people talking about it, um, that being kind of an issue. Yeah, but look, we have right here, someone is going to want to come. They might have to travel to see you. You might be far away. You could live over a body of water. Somebody might be flying in is what I'm getting. There's an airplane here. Um, yeah, or maybe they just want to take you on some kind of vacation, meet you somewhere. It could also be that travel to, I feel, travel to see you is what I keep getting. So for some of y'all, I definitely feel like somebody's going to be traveling to see you. There is a gift on the bottom here. Also feeling like this could be a complete surprise for somebody. Um, we have gifts here. We have a big surprise here. Um, yeah, I think you will talk to this person before this happens. I don't know that they would just pop up. I feel like there is communication going on beforehand. I feel a lot of it, actually. I think this has got to be in the works because this is two nights in a row. So we, I feel a very pure love here, okay? A very honest connection as well. And I think that's what this person wants to talk to you about, okay? All right, let me get some messages. Actually, I think I'm going to get some of these. Mess oh, let me get some tea leaves. Let's see what the tea leaves have to tell us. All right, spirits. What else for my collective? Oh, 
protection from a powerful friend look at that oh wow okay well that's good to know i mean is that someone in spirit this is someone who's very loyal to you is what i'm feeling okay maybe they feel like they do have to protect you protect this um protect this particular connection you know maybe protect it maybe because there is gossip maybe because there is someone here who is clearly can be quite malicious here okay maybe this person feels like they have to protect you from that we have cup you should accept you should accept a valid criticism i think this has to do with a conversation you're going to have to have with another person i think you guys could very much so trigger one another um and if it's valid i think spirit is saying hey don't jump to conclusions hear them out hear her out uh, whichever one applies and you know make sure that you guys speak respectively and really listen to each other is what i'm getting without reacting bird perched waiting for news package or letter you might already be there you might already be in this bird perched maybe it's due to this reading i don't know or the one last night but maybe you're already waiting um, on something to happen here all right maybe you know that some kind of communication is obviously coming in and then we have bell look at this bell announcement look at that that could even be a wedding bell okay that could be the announcement of someone also coming towards you but with that union that could also be some kind of announcement that is happening and then we have parrots someone will gossip about look at this someone will gossip about all of your secrets i'm telling you that is interesting because we did have gossip here so if this person's getting out of something or if there's other things going on behind the scenes with other people that you know maybe you guys know the same people something like that maybe you've shared things before and someone else has got their hands on that you know the pictures the the it could even be the text anything like that perhaps they'll gossip maybe they'll just gossip because they left and went in another, another direction i mean i'm not really sure about it but it does say here that someone's going to do that. I would say don't worry about that. Who cares? Let people talk. Let people say what they will. Ultimately, trust me, you even if it even if it bothers you for a moment, you will bounce back. People will always talk, okay? All right, door. Opportunities are waiting for you. How interesting, okay? I think someone will be coming uh, to your door is what I'm getting here. All right? This could actually open the door as well for opportunities for the both of you. I feel a lot of I don't know why I'm feeling a lot of abundance around this suddenly. Yeah, look at this. Someone is behaving stupidly. I'm going to put that right here. This gossiping and someone revealing the secrets, maybe that was also a threat. Maybe this person could have been threatening to do this about this person as well if they do that. Maybe they know a lot of secrets about this person and they're willing to kind of let them, you know, rip because they're obviously childish because who does that, right? But we have your dog if it's about you it looks to me like someone's going to be there to protect you okay just remember whoever's spreading this gossip is a turkey <laughs> job turkey all right what else all right basket recognition reward for merit beautiful so somebody could definitely be getting a lot of recognition at this time i know i talked earlier about someone possibly being on a platform because i kept feeling someone was trying to watch you trying to see you um maybe even see if someone's already in your life or see if something they're doing is working i don't really know but someone knows that you're getting some kind of recognition at this time this could also be around your work okay you could be getting very rewarded uh, for that but you might be feeling that you might be feeling like you're being recognized as well and you feel rewarded by what you're able to do i do have march here something could happen in the month of march or could have happened in the month of march that could also be a birthday for someone here as well and then we, oh, we have birth or conception of a child or enterprise with the crib card, okay? I already said that with the doors, the opportunities open in here. If you're not getting pregnant, because we did see the Empress card here, if you guys are not starting a family, then this could definitely be about uh, the conception, the birth or the conception of an enterprise here, all right? Whatever it is, it's going to feel like a firecracker. Very excited about what is happening here, all right? It says here on the bottom, needle and thread which means a wish will be granted so whatever it is you've been putting out there it looks like it is definitely coming into being how beautiful all right i want to get some definitely want to get some messages here Let's see what this person may wish to say what spirit may wish to tell us 
Yep, I'm getting negative influences and people out of my life. Absolutely. I'm not going to say this person has made the best decisions because I don't feel as though they have. But it looks like they're trying to do better for sure. I think we would be powerful together. Absolutely. All right. I definitely think that they're part of your destiny. You're part of their destiny in some way that you guys are supposed to be together. That's what I was getting for some reason when I was looking at the hair of font. Like they felt like there's a higher meaning to this connection, right? It's that look at this. I'm well aware of my behavior towards you and I feel foolish. Okay. What else, spirit? I'm drowning in my emotions for you. That may be what actually just caused the break, honestly. They were just so unhappy, wanting something different, thinking about, uh, thinking back, maybe even watching you up here, looking back at photographs, looking back at old messages, thinking about maybe when things were good, if you guys had good times together, maybe they were thinking about those really intimate, very powerful moments that you had together. Well, oh, well, I guess so. I miss making love to you. So yeah, if you were... And I stay up at night thinking about you. Okay. So if you guys were intimate, most definitely. Okay. I think that they obviously have spent some time thinking about that. I think you has. Okay. for This won't be for everybody. But for some of y'all, you also had some very powerful, I think, times together. Even if it was, I feel like it may have been short-lived. But I feel they're there. Uh, <laughs> I watch you on social media and see your changes. I told you. Definitely looking for that. And I've gotten readings on this situation or my, the card says this relationship. So they're definitely looking into you, definitely trying to get some answers. Maybe that's who the detective is as well, honestly. Trying to break a, away, it looks to me, from some, a bad pattern. Um, not the best people, very clearly. But to be fair, they wouldn't have brought those people in and kept them there had they not been in that same energy for a while. So they're just trying to get away, I feel like, from that energy altogether. Maybe they were in a bit of a player energy. Uh, like I said, easily swayed by seduction. A bit noncommittal. But obviously, they're not happy with that lifestyle anymore, as we're seeing here with this Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm sorry I put you in a third-party situation. For some of y'all, I don't even feel like you were actually committed, okay? But they're saying they did introduce a third party into the situation in some way. And they said, I wish I could tell you how I really feel. And I respect you so much. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to get one more card here, and we're going to wrap it up. This will be talisman cards here, spirit for my collective. First card is open your mind, connect with a higher power, broaden your horizons, and invoke wisdom. Beautiful. I'm looking at, I, I watch your social media and I see your changes. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if something has hit them based on that, based on whatever you're posting, based on the fact that you look happier, based on the fact that you obviously seem to, I feel like you've really stepped into your own. Um, and I, something has something has allowed them here to make the connection. Hmm. Okay. Cattle, success, abundance, opportunity, earned wealth, and good fortune. This is also about growth. It's about expansion. It's about fulfillment. I love it. All right. One more spirit. We have home. Beautiful. Home is the spiritual meaning of this card is about universal truths, understanding something. Literally, we just talked about that. Maybe watching you has allowed them to recognize something, to understand something on a much deeper level um, in terms of this connection. They, I feel like they know or feel very strongly that they are part of your destiny. They feel like you guys are supposed to be doing something together um, in sync. And then we have inheritance property, family, responsibilities here with a home. I think they want to have a home with you. We saw another card that actually indicated that, okay? Um, want to live with you, want to build with you in some way. Um, you know, this could be something about spiritual inheritance as well, since they feel so strongly about being um, part of your destiny and you being a part of theirs. Maybe they also feel like there's some kind of spiritual inheritance when it comes to that. 
but definitely feeling like you are, you're their family. That's what I'm getting. Okay, guys, that is what I have for you. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.